Picking the best Nikon camera is a formidable task. The firm has built up an incredible stable of cameras in all different categories, DSLRs, mirrorless cameras and compacts. And which is right for you depends on your experience level, your budget and what you plan to shoot. We have taken this into account and come up with a list of the best Nikon cameras on the market in 2021. The list includes the best Nikon camera for beginners, the best Nikon camera for professionals, the best Nikon camera for wild photography, the best Nikon camera for vlogging, the best Nikon camera for landscape, and the best Nikon camera for portraits. So make sure to watch this video till the end and find out the gems. And if you are new to this channel, you are very welcome to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you should be notified for the next amazing videos. The first one is the best Nikon camera for beginners. It may be a DSLR, but from its modest price point to its excellent guide mode, the Nikon D3500 is hands down the best Nikon camera for beginners. For years, Nikon's D3000 series of cameras has been our recommendation for anyone looking for their first DSLR. Having replaced the D3400 in August 2018, the Nikon D3500 is the most recent model in the lineup. While it has a very similar specification as the camera it replaced, the D3500's APS-C format 24.2 megapixel sensor is never, although it has the same effective pixel count as the previous chip. In addition, it's a little lighter than the D3400 and its battery lasts for a few more shots. Nikon has also tweaked its design a bit in comparison with the D3400. Thanks to its 24 megapixel APS-C format sensor and XP4 processing engine, the D3500 is capable of capturing detail-rich images. The second one is the best Nikon camera for professionals. The Nikon D5 is a phenomenal DSLR and it's not really surprising that the D6 only makes a few improvements upon it. Despite being more of a refresh, the flagship D6 is the best Nikon camera for professional photographers. If you are a professional photographer and you need a solid, dependable camera that has fast responses, can cope with low light and delivers sharp images in a wide range of conditions, then the Nikon D6 is a great choice. The Nikon D6 is the replacement for the D5, Nikon's flagship DSLR which is aimed at professional news and sports photographers. It represents the pinnacle of DSLR development, competing with the Canon EOS 1DX Mark III. The D6 is designed to be used every day in the harshest of environments by photographers who need a fast, reliable camera. It's a full-frame model. Its 20.8 megapixel sensor has the same dimension as a 35mm film frame. The Nikon D5 it replaces is a robust and reliable workhouse, workhorse of a camera that has served many professional photographers well. While the D6 does not make a huge step forward in terms of specification or handling, it does enough to make professional sports and news photographers stick with a DSLR rather than switch to a mirrorless camera. It has the startup and response times that news and event photographers need. Plus, its AF system is capable of getting fast moving subject sharp. Even in gloomy conditions, professional photographers are likely to find the changes made to the viewfinder based autofocus system the most significant. In fact, the D6 has Nikon's most advanced AF system to date. Coming up next, we have the best Nikon camera for wildlife photography. While its 45.7 megapixel sensor ensures plenty of detail is captured, the maximum shooting rate of 7 frames per second, which can be boosted to 9 frames per second with the optional battery grip, plus the super 153 point autofocus system make the D850 the best Nikon camera for wildlife photography. The Nikon D850 is arguably the best DSLR that has ever been made. It can shoot at 7 frames per second and both rates can be maintained for up to 5114 bit lossless compressed draw file. When the viewfinder is in action, there's also a superb 153 point 
autofocus system with 99 cross type sensors and 50 sensors that support 8 aperture as the D850 has a backside illuminated sensor and the micro lenses are kept less the pixels have the maximum opportunity to get the light. This and the XP5 processing engine has enabled Nikon to give the camera a standard sensitivity range of ISO 64 to 25600. There are also expansion settings that extend the range to the equivalent of ISO 32 to 102400, but we recommend staying with the native range. It's proved an incredibly popular DSLR with photographers who appreciate its ability to combine a high pixel count with speed and excellent low light performance. And the next one we have the best Nikon camera for vlogging. Thanks to its impeccable design and video features, APS-C Nikon Z50 is the best Nikon camera for vlogging. The Nikon Z50 has some great advantages as a result of its mirrorless design. The 2.36 million dot electronic, for example, can show the image as it will be captured, complete with an exposure white balance and picture control settings applied. And you can switch seamlessly from shooting using the viewfinder to using the 3.2 inch screen. Further, good news is that the 209 point autofocus system, which uses phase detection, is excellent even in low light. You will have no problem shooting sport or action with it. But if you're getting into video or thinking about it, you can also shoot 4K video at up to 30 frames per second. And there's a mic port to connect an external microphone. You can also shoot full HD footage at up to 120 frames per second, which means you can really slow down action if you want to add a bit of drama. Nikon's snap bridge technology is also built in and it does a great job of firing low resolution copies of your images to a paired phone. It's amazing how useful that is. What's more, Nikon now sells a vlogger kit for the Z50, which includes the Z50 and 60 to 50 mm lens, a small rig vlogging mounting plate for Nikon Z50 camera, a Rode Video Micro microphone, and a Manfrotto Pixie mini tripod. And the next one is the best camera for landscape photography, the Nikon Z72 and its 45.7 million pixel sensor make it the best Nikon camera for landscape photographer and a sure bet to entice more DSLR photographers into mirrorless full frame photography. And the Nikon Z7 second or two has two memory card slots, one that can accept CF Express or XQD cards and the other that's designed for SD type UHS second media. Adding a second XP6 processing engine also boosts the continuous shooting rate. Tax 4K shooting to 60 frames per second deepens the burst depth and enhances the low light capability of the autofocus system. It's a solid update. The Nikon Z72 has a high dynamic range, which means it can capture a wide range of tones in a single image. That's good news for images straight from the camera, but it also translates into greater scope for adjusting images post capture. On those occasions, when you might need to reduce the exposure to preserve the brightness highlights, you can do so in the knowledge that the shadows and midtones can be brightened in processing. The Z72's raw file will stand substantial brightening well. In fact, low ISO images can cope with the being brightened by 4 or even 5 EV with only a slight increase in the noise level. And coming up the last one, we have the best Nikon camera for portraits. An excellent all-rounder, the speedy Nikon Z62 is the best Nikon camera for portraits, building on the success of the original Z6. Just as the Nikon Z6 is the 24 megapixel partner to the 45 megapixel Z7, the Nikon Z62 is the partner to the Z72. Both are full-frame mirrorless cameras with the Nikon Z mount and they share the majority of features apart from the sensor. The Nikon Z62 is the all-rounder that's a bit nippier and more affordable than the high-resolution Z72. It's primarily aimed at enthusiast photographers, but it's also likely to appeal to professional wedding and portrait photographers who don't need the larger file size brought by the Z72. While Nikon has stuck with the same 24.5 megapixel backside illuminated ESI CMOS sensor as is in the Z6 for the Z62, it has added a second XP6 processing engine. 
that extra power enables the Mark II camera, more correctly known as the Nikon Z62, to have a maximum continuous shooting rate of 14 frames per second, 2 frames per second higher than the Z6. That's with full autofocus and metering capability, and the rate can be maintained for 200 JPEGs or 124 uncompressed 12-bit RAW files. There's also the same 273-point hybrid focusing system that uses face and contrast detection, with points covering 90% of the sensor. However, the tracking and low-light AF performance has been improved. In fact, Nikon claims that the Z62 can focus down to 6 EV with N2 aperture or faster lens. That's roughly equivalent to the light cost by a quarter of the moon. Also, the human and animal eye AF that was added to the Z6 as a firmware upgrade has been enabled for the Z62 so that it now operates in video mode. That's good news for wedding portraits, lifestyle and wildlife photographers and videographers. Thank you for being with us so far. Let me know your suggestions, recommendations and opinions in the comment section about the cameras and the video. And if you are new to this channel, you are very welcome to subscribe and join our family. Stay tuned and stay blessed.